Welcome to this 13th installment of the Advanced Vehicle Technology Competitions. Let me first start by thanking our partners, GM and MathWorks, for helping us to put this together, along with my colleagues at Argonne National Lab. And of course, let me thank all of you for joining this kickoff. I so wish I could be with you, particularly to meet all the students, because really, you are all going to be making history. You are about to embark on a four-year journey to engineer a next-generation vehicle, and not just any kind of vehicle. These teams are participating in our first ever EcoCar EV Challenge. Now, I don't want to give away any surprises, but General Motors has taken this competition to a new level with this year's battery electric vehicle platform. This competition really reflects the changing vehicle market. And there are two reasons why this is a big deal. First, we just need more EVs to overcome the climate crisis. Transportation, of course, makes up the largest share of carbon pollution emissions in the United States, and over half of those emissions come from passenger vehicles. But EVs give us the means to eliminate those emissions, while, of course, saving drivers quite a lot of money. $6,000 saved on maintenance over a vehicle's lifetime, and potentially thousands more on fuel every single year. So. Last year, President Biden set this goal of getting zero emission vehicles to make up half of the new car and truck sales by 2030. That's a goal we're very proud of, and we're very proud to have GM and the rest of the big three automakers all aligned on. And we are really pulling out all the stops to reach it. So President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law included seven and a half billion dollars to construct a national network of EV chargers, along with seven billion dollars, another one, to secure a reliable supply chain for the batteries that those chargers are going to juice up. We have invoked the Defense Production Act so that we can move more quickly in our efforts to produce and process the, the critical minerals that make up the guts of those batteries. So with that second part of the president's, the president's agenda for building a better America, we're going to offer new incentives and rebates that will actually lower the cost of EVs by thousands of dollars. And thanks to our university teams, Americans might soon have even more options to choose from. So the second reason why this is such a big deal, and perhaps even a more important reason, is that this EcoCar Challenge is going to help us build a workforce around this soon to skyrocket EV market that's diverse and that's inclusive. A workforce that's diverse and inclusive is super important. Since its inception in 1988, more than 27,000 students have participated in the Advanced Vehicle Technology Competition Series. And they have gotten real world experience that actually readies them to work in the auto space from the day that they graduate. I'm very proud to say that we have an alumni of this competition walking the halls of the Department of Energy today, and many of them carrying on the work that they began in college while participating in a competition series. We've had 93 universities take part in this series over the last 34 years, 15 of them participating in this EcoCar EV Challenge. And it gives me the great pleasure to announce six new universities that have been selected for this challenge. The Illinois Institute of Technology, the University of California Riverside, the University of California Davis, the University of Texas at Austin, and Bethune-Cookman University in partnership with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, and finally Wilberforce University in partnership with Ohio State. MathWorks is going to announce the remaining universities selected to participate in just a few minutes. But let me note that I am particularly thrilled to see this competition include five designated minority serving institutions. And those two partnerships between veteran university and historically black colleges and universities, Bethune-Cookman University and Wilberforce University that I just mentioned. Because as we know, black, indigenous, and Hispanic Americans along with women are consistently underrepresented in science, technology, engineering, and math fields. And when you're dealing with a challenge as enormous and as consequential as the climate crisis, we just cannot afford to leave any talent or potential untapped. 
We need everyone. And that's why President Biden has instructed his administration, all of us, to advance diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility in all of our policies and in our workforce. It's why DOE is going to provide up to a million dollars to minority-serving institutions that are participating in this challenge, along with $10,000 in seed money and funding for a full-time student to each of the participating universities. So all the teams can implement diversity, equity, and inclusion within their teams and on their campuses and in their local communities. We are so excited to see how all of this comes together in the years ahead. But in the meantime, let me just close with a note to any soon-to-be graduating students in attendance. If you've got the clean energy bug and you see the potential we have to build a, a more equitable and just clean energy future, then I hope that you'll consider joining our team. Right now, we're actually recruiting a thousand new staffers to assist us in implementing the $62 billion investment that President Biden's infrastructure law put into the Department of Energy. So head over to energy.gov slash clean energy core to learn more and use the code hashtag ecocar to apply. So I hope to call you colleagues someday and I look forward to the incredible ideas that all of our teams are going to bring to the table throughout the EcoCar EV Challenge. Thank you all once again for joining us, to GM and MathWorks for your amazing partnership, and to Argonne for your leadership and management of this program on behalf of all the competition sponsors. I'm Steve Carlisle, President of General Motors North America, and I'm glad to be speaking with you today. First, I'd like to congratulate both the new and the returning schools that will be competing in the EcoCar EV Challenge. We're glad you want to compete in this great new competition. At GM, our support for advanced vehicle technology competitions began three decades ago, alongside the U.S. Department of Energy, Argonne National Laboratory, and most recently, MathWorks, we've developed competitions that have provided college students across North America opportunities to work with the latest in automotive technology. The objective for competing students has remained consistent since the beginning. Increase the efficiency of your team's vehicle. The vehicles have looked quite different over the years. Methanol-powered Chevrolet Corsicas in 1988, ethanol-powered Silverados in the late 1990s, and performance hybrid electric Camaros a few years back, just to name some of the highlights. While the challenge remains straightforward, this competition series has evolved alongside the global auto industry, adding complexities and nuance to prepare the next generation of leaders to enter the workforce. For example, students competing in the current EcoCar Mobility Challenge have worked for four years to increase the efficiency of a Chevrolet Blazer with propulsion systems of their own design while maintaining safety, reliability, and consumer appeal. They use GM's vehicle development process to implement their own technical solutions into their team's vehicle platform. They use software, modeling, and simulation tools that are used in the industry. Students collaborate across multiple disciplines on deliverables, present their ideas before industry experts, and defend them with data. These fundamentals will continue into the new EcoCar EV Challenge. GM supports EcoCar because of the level of discipline, passion, and innovation we see in students that compete. That's why we currently have more than 230 competition alumni working across our company. In fact, many of them are working on our next generation battery electric vehicle architecture, the Ultium platform, a competitive advantage for us in power, range, and manufacturing cost. At GM, we invest in the collective futures of the North American communities in which we live and work, focused on building a diverse pipeline for STEM education. EcoCar reflects one way we do this at a collegiate level. This competition trains students to enter the workforce with advanced 
desired skill sets that employers seek out. Our company believes in a world of zero emissions with a vision for an all electric future driven by battery electric technologies. That is why we're so excited for the EcoCar EV Challenge. This competition breaks the mold from previous series. Students will compete for the first time in AVTC history using fully electric Altium powered vehicles. Students will not be using just any EV. And I'm proud to say that each EcoCar EV Challenge team will receive a Cadillac Lyric as your competition vehicle. The Lyric is a stunning SUV that is setting the standard for fu the future of Cadillac. Now that our EcoCar has gone completely EV, the Lyric will set the standard for our new competition as well. This will be a fantastic vehicle to learn on. Students will learn the specific complexities of fitting a vehicle to the customer when considering connectivity, automated features, range, and more. Teams will compete to implement a variety of controls and software deliverables that work to optimize energy usage while integrating new hardware to suit their consumer audience. While the vehicle and objectives are new and groundbreaking, GM's commitment to students competing in the EcoCar EV Challenge remains the same. Our passionate employees who serve as team members, team mentors, subject matter expert, and competition judges are ready to work with new and returning teams as students learn and develop their Altium powered project vehicles. We look forward to seeing these lyrics compete at our proving grounds over the next four years. Thank you and good luck.